So I think when it comes to dimensions of variation in human likeness or anthropomorphism, there's more dimensions than just visual appearance. That's part of form, but there's also touch sensation, fragrance, and then we can get into the dynamics of the, of the android. For example, motion quality, speech, prosody, which is like the rhythm, the pitch of speech, voice quality, and also contingency or interactivity. You may be looking at an animated character that looks fine as long as you're seeing it passively move on the screen, but when you're interacting it, if the timing's wrong, that could also seem strange. Now, this is a video of a robot that we prepared uh, when I was at Osaka University for the World Exposition in Aichi. This is a kind of scenario. The gentleman's coming to the robot, and the robot's asking about, who are you? And he introduces himself, and it asks, uh, where, where do you come from? And he says, I'm from Osaka. And the robot says, oh, I'm also from Osaka. And it's very beautiful, isn't it? And then it asks, have you visited any other places in the World Expo at Aichi? And uh, he says, yes. And it asks, he gestures where it is, and the robot points to that location, and so on. So in this experiment, what I was very interested in is the prosodic interaction. For example, uh, how one person's pace in the conversation can be picked up by the other person. So the scenario is quite scripted. If he had said he was coming from Tokyo, then it would have said something different about Tokyo. But basically, it's a kind of scripted scenario. But this is also important because if you're considering uh, issues of contingency, then uh, that's very important. Because when we first worked on this, there was some delay in recognizing what the person's saying. I don't know if you've ever used some voice recognition software, but usually there's some delay. And it was very important to reduce that delay, and we ended up using a cluster of computers to do that. So this is an example of the importance of interactivity, because if there's too much delay, it can seem uncanny, it can seem strange.